Hey fam, so we have come to the end of Izingani Zestembu season one and oh my goodness, what a show it was. It just kept us glued to our screens. We totally loved and enjoyed every episode. We are certainly going to miss them. Now, let us recap on how it went down. So basically, in my opinion, we feel that it was centered around Umpumelelo most of the time. Like, um, we got to know Umpumelelo and Estembo Saike the entire time. Um, we didn't really get to know um, the other kids, which really sucked a bit because i mean using gun is a temple which we got excited that we are actually going to get to know every other um member of those um children basically i'm guessing that we got to know umpumulelo quite a bit because obviously he is the one who's taking up after Ubabawake the most. Um, he's the one who's mostly interested in Istembu, and that is why maybe we got to follow his journey and got to see his girlfriend more than we saw the other kids. I mean, we would have loved to see Usne quite a lot, um, because Usne seems to be very interesting based on the other um the main show, which is um Utando Istembu. Usne brings a lot of um drama and we thought that we would see um and get a chance to get to know even Uluanze and Umpilo and just get to know these people and um, what they are into, what are their interests, um, what um, businesses they are um, getting into and all of those things, you know, who are they dating, all of those things. But we got to know Umpumelelo more than we got to know the other kids. I mean, there were parts where... We got to um watch them. I mean, Usne, um, we saw in a few episodes, uh, mainly when she went and had the cleansing ceremony, um, when she had um the miscarriage and whatnot, um, and then she told us a little bit that she is in love and whatnot, and then Umpilo, um, we really don't know much about Umpilo. We just know that she's in varsity, and that is that we didn't get to actually dive into what Mbilo is, is, is up to. Is she dating? I feel like it would have been nice um, for all the kids to actually get equal um, times or equal opportunity to actually lead the show and be on the show. I mean, we got Babum Seleku coming in and really saving the day for Umpumelelo. Um, the few times that we've seen Ubabum Seleku was for Umpumelelo, really. I mean, um, they were discussing Amalobolo or whether in Kaulo for the pregnancies and whatnot. And um, there is a time that we saw him and then we saw him again when he came um, to Johannesburg when um, there was an issue with um, the cloth of tape. And um, that is when we saw him again. He has just really, um, it, it was centered around Umbumelelo, um, to be honest. And um, it, it quite sucks that we didn't see him um, really interact with the other kids as much. I mean, we saw him interact once with Uluanle when um, he handed over the stick and said to Uluanle, um, Uluanle basically, yeah. The, who's going to basically take up after him. So, yeah. But other than that, it was all about Umbumelelo, 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 and Istembu Saake, Nama Girlfriend Aake, and the drama that those women brought. Um, Not that we didn't enjoy it, but, um, yeah. That's all I'm saying, that we would have enjoyed the other children. Now, the... Highlights of this season for us were 
obviously <laughs> the women baga mbomelelo oh my goodness they really brought a lot of drama especially utirelo guys Terolo was very dramatic, funny, um, with all the pregnancy hormones and whatnot. Um, she just was cranky most of the time and a total mood killer. Um, and then we also enjoyed U Vuyokazi. Um, but the biggest highlight was the drama Umbumelelo brought to E. Ipati Yagalwandle that was just uncalled for. It just showed that he is not really humble. Um Agawazu Guti Anigezu Mundindawiake. Um things are just centered around him. He's just used to just getting his way and people tiptoeing around him, which was really not nice. Um another highlight that um I will definitely remember was when um there, there was a fight in the car between my girlfriend Oake Umbumelelo and they just did not want to um, compromise on who sits in front. Like they both wanted to sit in front or both of them had to be at the back. It just was so dramatic and whatnot. And that um, had us in stitches because it was so unnecessary. And then... Um, and obviously, the cloth cloth um, situation was quite wow. Um, the way that Umbumelelo did not really take um, responsibility. He just was very quick to say, okay, it happened. How do we move forward? How do I, um, uh, how do we proceed, basically? Like, he didn't really plead for forgiveness from his women. He literally asked them for support. And that was that. It was like, no, you guys need to support me. Um, I mean, as your man and stuff like that. He didn't really understand how hurt those people were and whatnot. And um, I'm sure everybody will remember how Tirello behaved um, when they went to the water park. And she just went, hey, Maya on Usme. Um she just um was very rude really to Umbomelelo's older sister Usne. I feel like Sne did not um deserve it. Sne deserved a bit more respect as Usisom Dala. Um the fact that um it was not okay and Bumelelo should have put her to order but obviously he didn't and um, Usne ended up being the one who was a and apologizing um, because, well, ukulelwe and whatnot, um, which was not okay. Um, Sne deserves a bit more respect, especially um, from Mpumelelo. Mpumelelo disrespected Usne even at Luandle's party um, when um, Sne tried to talk to him and Mpumelelo was just like... Uh, like it, it was not okay it, it it's basically him showing even about this is how we treat usne and that was just not okay and um another highlight i would say was the 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 sona or the scan appointment with utirelo how shocked o mbomelelo was i mean really this is someone who is not um, expecting a child for the first time. And this is a young man who just basically looked so dumb struck um, and just uninformed. And it was just not okay for him to just be like that. Um, we hope Uguti, um, because now being a celebrity and being someone who's got a status where people look up to him i mean children look up to him you know and um we just hope that he is going to invest in his um self-development um just learn a couple of things just um really read up on certain things it just was not a good look for him to just consistently be dumbstruck and not know basic things that someone his age and um, someone who has grown up with technology and someone who has such 
opportunities surrounding him should not know such things. You know, we loved Uluwande. Uluwande was a definite fave the entire se uh, season. He is so humble. I mean, big ups to Makele. Makele really raised Abantana Bake so well. Even U Abongwe. We love U U U U. Mpilo, we hope we're going to see more of Mpilo in season two. Um, If there will be season two, um, we want to know what um she's up to and whatnot. I mean, she seems like such an interesting character. Um, Omakumalo is also doing such an amazing job. Um, Ngaye. Um, so, yeah, that's basically a wrap from our side. And we thoroughly enjoyed this season. And, yeah. Congratulations to Mpumelelo on the third child, really. And yeah, guys, we hope we are just going to see more drama and more of everyone in the season to come. Bye for now.